how bubble sort algorithm works and starts with the first elements. So in this case, we have 10 and 14, and it makes sure that they are in the correct order. 10 is less than 14, so it's in correct order. Then we compare it with the next element. So 14 compared to 9 is not in the correct order. So we store 14 in a temporary location and put 9 in its place. Then we put 14 in the 9th place. And now 9 and 14 are in the correct order. We move to the next element, which is 4. And 14 is greater than 4. So we store 14 in the temporary location. Move 4 over. Put 14 in its place. Compare with 2. We will need to swap as well. And now we are at the end of our array and 14 is in its final position. Now we need to repeat this process again to sort the other numbers as well. So we'll start at 10 and 9. That's wrong order. So we swap those. 10 and 4 also wrong. Swap those. 10 and 2 also wrong. Swap those two. And now 10 is in its correct position. So we don't have to compare it with 14 because 14 was placed in its right position on the previous pass. So now we go and do another pass, nine and four, that's in the wrong position. We swap those nine and two, wrong position, swap. Now nine is in its final position. And the last two elements that we have is four and two. So they need to be swapped. And like that, we have sorted this array using bubble sort. Thanks for watching this video. And if you are interested in learning more algorithms, you should watch this video next.